Hello! Today in our gospel reading, Jesus says that he is going to build his church. And then in the epistle reading, Paul talks about how we as members of the church are built up together. And so we know that Christ is building something that he says is going to last into eternity because he gives us eternal life. And I was thinking about different things that we can build with and you know, one of our favorite things to build with are Lego blocks, right? And so you've got all the different shapes and sizes and you can put them together and you can build something. But the problem with something with Legos is that if you drop it, it falls apart. And it's not really the kind of thing you would build a house that you would live in with. You can build something to play with. They're meant to be taken apart, right? They're meant so you could build different things. So when we build with bricks, on the other hand, oh, we build with the bricks. They are meant to stick together. We don't expect if we build something with bricks that we're going to take it apart and then build something new with bricks. We want it to stand firm. And so if we push against the bricks, they're, they're not moving. If you uh, look at your house outside and there are bricks on it and you try to move the bricks, they are steady. Well, there are other things that we can try and build with like a piece of paper. Oh, uh, we're not gonna build a house with paper, right? But because paper's so light, we could build a paper airplane. And there's no way we're building an airplane with the brick. We're not gonna build an airplane with the Legos. So what does Jesus build with when he builds his church? He builds with me and with you. He builds with people. He says to Peter that when Peter says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, that that becomes right there next to Jesus, the cornerstone, part of the foundation. And everyone who comes and says the same thing that Peter says, it's like we're getting built up into the church. And here's the amazing thing. Jesus says, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church he's building. That nothing is going to knock over this church that Jesus is building. When we confess that he is our Savior, our Lord, and God, when we are built into the church, we don't get knocked out of that church. We stay in with God's people. And Paul tells us, he says, look, we're all here with different parts. These bricks, they're all the same. The Legos, they're meant to be exactly the same. But Paul says, as church members, God gives us all sorts of different gifts. And so he says, if your gift is teaching, then you go out there and you teach. If it contributing then you'll be generous we need every one of us in the church because we're all different and Christ brings us into his church to do different things it's a blessing to be a part of his church I'm glad to have you as part of his church I'm glad to see how God is building you up and we can trust that what he builds us up into won't be broken down the gates of hell cannot prevail against it we are built together for eternal life in Christ we give thanks for this in Jesus name